Hello students, in this video we'll discuss a differential equation which has been seen to model the rate of growth of tumors in animals, which is known as the Gompertz model of differential equations growth. Let's discuss it. So it's been studied that animal tumors grow according to the Gompertz law differential equation. law. In other words, if s of t is the size, if s of t represents the size in the right units, then ds dt, that's a dt over there, that's a ds dt, ds dt, is a constant k times s itself times the natural log of some constant s capital over little s the function itself. So here k and s are constants. So k and s are constant. Okay? And so of course this is a separable differential equation, so let's separate the, so note this is separable. This is a separable equation. And so what we'll do is we'll do a couple things first. So let's actually put all the s on one side of the equation. So if I separate this, it'll become ds over s natural log of s capital over little s is equal to k dt. Okay? And so now, of course, I can, I can take this s in the denominator of the logarithm and ch change it to a negative sign and flip the logarithm. So what I'll do is I'll write this as ds, I'll pull out a negative from this side of the equation and flip things, little s, natural log of little s over big S, and I'll put the negative k dt on the other side of the equation. And so now we can integrate this thing over here. So what we're going to do is let's integrate both sides, because it's separable. Of course, the right-hand side is very easy, just negative k t. So let's write that as negative k t plus a constant c. Now how I do this integral over here, I can do this integral by letting u be s, uh, just the log of s over s capital. Then what will du be? So du is just going to be what? It's going to be uh, s capital, s capital over little s, 1 over the argument, times 1 over s. So the s is going to cancel, right? ds. So now those big s's cancel. So s ds over s is exactly just equal to du, so what we'll get over here is we're going to have an integral of u, du, over, and that thing is just exactly u, du over u. So that's just going to give me the natural log, the natural log of u, but we know what u is, u is the natural log of s over s capital, so this is the natural log of the natural log of s over s capital. Great. And so now, of course, we can find out what that constant uh, c is in terms of, we can find out the constant c in terms of the initial, uh, the initial s, right? So if I plug in t equals 0 to this formula, I get that c is equal to the natural log of the natural log of s0 over s capital. So that's my constant over there, c. Excellent. And so now we have what? So now we can write this equation as the natural log, so negative k t plus natural log of natural log of s0 over s capital is equal to the natural log of the natural log of s over s capital. Okay, I can exponentiate both sides. When I exponentiate both sides, I'll get, I'll get rid of one logarithm. So I'm going to have e to this expression over here. So what's it going to look like? If I exponentiate one time, I'm going to have the natural log. What will we get? We'll get natural log. I'm going to have e to this thing over here. I'm going to have e to the negative k t. And then it's going to be plus natural log of natural log. So when you do e plus anything, it's the same as multiplying the exponentials. So that's going to be e to the natural log of natural log of s0 over s capital is equal to the natural log 
of S over S capital. Okay. Now, of course, E and log cancel out, so that's just going to be one logarithm over here. So this is going to be the log, um, the natural log of S0 over S capital times E to the negative KT is going to be the natural log of little s over s capital, natural log of little s over s capital. And now we can solve for um, little s. So what will little s be? So by taking the exponential of both sides again and multiplying by s, I'm going to be able to conclude that s, the function that we want, the growth size of the tumor, is going to be the exponential, by taking the exponential, we need to times s over here as well, so s capital, times the exponential of what? Of the natural log of s0 over s capital times e to the negative kt. And so from this, what do we see? We see that the tumor starts at the size of s0, then as t goes to infinity, what happens? As t goes to infinity, this expression over here is going to go to 0, and then we have 0 times this logarithm going to be 0. The exponential of 0 is equal to 1, so as t goes to infinity, we can note as t goes to infinity, s of t tends to this stable rate of S capital. So that's the carrying capacity, the largest size of the tumor according to this model. So the Gompertz law can be explicitly solved using separation of variables, and you get a double logarithm. So the double logarithm induces a double exponential sort of uh, function as we see over here. Thank you very much.